Hello. Welcome to the laboratory of Jean-Paul Gasset. Greetings, and welcome back. You're doing a good job. At the moment, the habitat contains two gillmen. They are suffering from the cold. Please use the heater to raise the temperature to a more comfortable level. Let me divulge the highlights for today. If Professor Gasset's data is accurate, we can expect a change in the gill man's body very shortly. So let us head over to the tank. Uh, another day. There's a storm coming in, otherwise I'd have the windows oh, open. Because it's lovely outside. Oh well. Not much to be done about it. How are you guys today? You doing well? It's about time. I hope so. Also, I wonder if they're hungry. It's stuffy in here. Can you turn up the air? I got you covered. Hang on. Oh, good. Yes, this is better. Thanks. A little bit more. A little bit more. We'll zoom in and check and see how they're doing in a few. After that, uh... Well, I mean, after we're done this, obviously, we're going to go spray down the insect tank. I don't know if they're hungry yet or not, so we'll get there when we get there. Alright. Look at all my bugaboos! Seriously, what was that just now? You guys heard that too, right? Alright, what do we got down here? Hey, another one of you guys! You're the different color. I'll save you so we have at least another orange moth. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You can kind of tell on their backsides. Because, like, this one's got... Hang on, let me... This one's got a little bit of orange to it. And this one does not. So, uh... Yeah. Is it chow time yet? As a matter of fact, it is. Hey, where's our blue friend? Oh, there you are. Come here, you. Is it chow time yet? Enjoy! Yum, food. Oh my god, look! The legs are so big! Mmm, thanks. I'm so proud! Look at them! I ah! can't eat another bite. Look how Hello? good they are! Hello. Is anyone out there? Hello. How are you? I'm glad you're here. I do so love our evenings together. I missed you. I mean, I genuinely did miss Bartleby. And unnamed Gilman. There you go. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it was worth it. It's always worth it. <laughs> oh, he seems to be doing good, though. I'm glad. Need anything? I'm okay. So, not too long ago, I asked you if you liked yourself. Now I have a slightly different question for you. Do you think other people like you? Yes. You do think people like you? Yes. Well, that's good. You like yourself, and you think other people like you. That sounds pretty healthy. Thanks, Bartleby. I appreciate that. I missed you. No, that didn't work. Alright. What's new? Yes. Need anything? 
Nothing, thanks. All right. Let's just crank up the heat a little bit for him. I want to go check out the bugaboos real quick. Because, I mean, just look at them go. They've got leggies for days. This was what confused me. Oh, there's a pupa behind there. Okay. And we've got a couple more eggs laid. Good, good. I'm glad. Nice little way to keep a healthy balance in here. Where is Bartleby? Here you are. Let's go check your friend real quick. Where's the other gill man? Here you are. Might be able to get a better look at... Yeah, look at that. They've kind of got hands forming too, it looks like, the way the fins are. That's pretty great, though. Here we are. Any questions? And this is honestly kind of therapeutic, just watching them go. I don't know how else to put it, it's just like, it's really relaxing, and the fact that they can talk to us, it's all good. Bartleby! What do you want? Thank you. I want to thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's just go ahead and uh, provide them some attention. I feel like they're overdue, honestly. I can't tell if they're male or female. I know that there's like a difference in the eyebrows where the females are a bit more. Stop. The females have slightly more curved eyebrows, but I can't tell. Like, uh, where is Bartleby? Oh no, his eyebrows are definitely straighter. Okay. So I'm going to operate under the assumption that Bartleby is male. Well, this one... No, I can't tell with the eyebrows, damn it! Okay, I'm just going to assume that this one is female. And this one is male. No any tricks. Wow, you're going to beat up a fish? You're tough. I didn't say that. What do you want? Any other questions for me? What? Did you have more questions? No, leave me alone. All right. Good night. Good night. I'm proud of you. You're doing well. I wonder what'll happen if I say I love them. I love you. I'm very sorry to hear that. That was not what I expected. All right. Well, still, they've got functional leggies. I mean, look at these bad boys. Look at them. They're about the size of their fins, and they're growing more and more every day. So proud. Uh, heater, I can probably bump that up a little bit more. Let's just bump it to 19.5, maybe? Nope, 19.4, okay. You will give me an egg! I forgot to mute my phone. Whoops. Oh, well. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hello? One of the moths got caught. 
Well, I guess this is a nice little checks and balance thing. Okay. Well, good to know that they aren't going to, like, flood my entire cage with moths. So, yeah. They're good, I think. Let me just double-check the spray. Yep, we're good. Goodbye for now. Good night, friends. Hmm. Let me just tap. May I call you friends? Good night. Oh, I already bid them good night, so... That's good enough. Let's just go ahead and dim that. Leonard, take us out for the day if you would. Would you like to save and end the session? I would. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Or later tonight. Uh, I know I always say that and we end up coming back the next day. We'll see how things go. Alright. Catch you later. Hello. Welcome to the laboratory of Jean-Paul Gasset. Greetings and welcome back. You're doing a good job. At the moment, the habitat contains two gillmen. They appear to be very hungry. Let me divulge the highlights for today. If Professor Gasset's data is accurate, we can expect a change in the gillman's body very shortly. So let us head over to the tank. You know, at this point, I like to imagine that Leonard Nimoy just sits and waits on the park bench for us to come by right before we head into the lab. Like, I imagine that's just what he does with his day. He kind of just lives out there. I mean, why else would he say welcome back all the time? Thanks, I believe I'm beginning to thaw. Cute. But yeah, that's just my thought process on the matter. I went too long there. I'm starving to death. Don't you worry. You'll feed. I guarantee you. Precious air. But yeah, I just imagine that Leonard Nimoy is just some kindly old folk. Well, maybe not old in this instance, but, you know, just one of those guys who right now. sits out on a park bench and just kind of relaxes, you know? Watches the birds go. This is just kind of part of his daily constitutional. There we go. Alright, where are my bugaboos? Hey, we finally saw the eggs hatch. Perhaps unintentionally, but, uh... Yeah, here we are. Alright, a little bit more, and then I will go take care of our gillmen. We should be moving into the, uh... next stage of their lives fairly quickly. I was going to say, why can't I grab you? There we go. Must Eat up, boys! Have. Ooh. Oh, yummy, baity goodness. You know, I say boys, despite the fact that one of them has hey, to be female. Thanks. All right, there's Bartleby coming up. His leggies mm, are so I pronounced. I couldn't eat another bite. Look at these two. That hit the spot. Hello? Are you listening? Hello. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you too. Nice to see you too. Hmm. Let's go ahead and just give him the, uh, you know, the usual. Make it stop? Is that what you're going... Is this where we're going with this? Whoa. Whoa. Gonna puke. <laughs> it never gets old for some reason. I don't know what it is. I just kind of love watching them flop over, but they're in a great mood as a result. So it's like, you know what? 
I'm good with it. Need anything? Nothing, thanks. How are you? How are you? Bartleby? What do you want? How are you? Are you well? Seaman is all man. Just not all the time. I don't fully understand that, but sure. Alright. That was weird, but seriously, I'm so proud of his growth. Like, look, his leggies are massive! That must be part of the development, is making sure that they can actually use them. Which is cool. I like that. Let's go ahead and check on our bugaboo friends. Well, Spoder seems to have had himself a healthy meal. As well he should have. Given that we've got quite a few different bugs over here. What is this? Oh, that's the other moth! Or that's the other larva going into its cocoon. Nice! So, now we've got three moths total. Sorry, I, you know, I say that knowing full well that this one is not going to last very long. Oh, wow, he already got eaten. Damn, what the hell took you so long yesterday? Well, either way, it works out. We're keeping a nice healthy balance of three moths. And a couple of larvae. And we've already got the eggs! Nice! Let's watch him go. Yeah, he's just working out his legs. Building up strength. Which reminds me, I need to start building up my upper body strength. I've been meaning to for a while, anyway. I'm not very good at climbing. That and, you know, I had some amount of muscle at one point, but now when I flex it, it's just kind of a lump. Like, not a lump of, like, any kind of concerning quality. It's just kind of like a, a shapeless blob on my arm when I flex. There's definitely muscle there, it's just not enough to really have its own shape. Bartleby! What's new? What's new? Are you happy? Bartleby? I'm not getting anything from him. Huh. Where's the other one? Seems to be doing okay, which is good. Let's watch him go for a little bit. He's just kind of scooting along the end there. Are you happy? Are you happy? What's up? They said they didn't need anything, so they seem pretty happy. They don't respond, so let me try a little something. Potato! That didn't work. I don't believe it. You deny me my potatoes, Bartleby! Alright, let's see. Three moths, one chrysalis. Two larvae. Couple of eggs stacked on top of each other. I should probably get back over here. Because it's saving, but I can't tell why. Is it just me or is it. Does it look like feet are starting to form there? Like, once he gets back in shot. 
Yeah, it's kind of like there's toes developing there. Because, I mean, the... The... Ugh, words. The webbing at the end is still there. Hmm. Bartleby, I'm sorry for this. Stop grabbing me. Whoa, 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 watch the fins. What are you doing? Whoa, 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 watch the fins. Stop it. Let me go. Huh? Sorry. What did you do this time? I'm sorry for picking you up. No response, eh? Still, it's nice that we can observe him like that. Should we go pick up the other one? Yeah, let's go pick up the other one. Come here, you. Come on, let me go. Come on, let me go. Stop grabbing me. Stop grabbing me. Let me go, you jerk. Hey, do I grab you? Thank you. You're welcome. I don't know if we were supposed to do that yet or not, but, like, the fact that we can actually hold them up by their bodies now rather than their fins, that's a good sign. Yeah, look at him go. It's just kind of peaceful. It's like when you're at the doctor's office and you watch the fish tank. Which I know is kind of what they were going for, I guess, but still. Oh, tomorrow's Monday. I'm off. I cannot wait. That should slow down right there. Yes, yes, we're good. All right. Bartleby. What's up? We've been talking a lot about how you see yourself and how other people see you. Now let me ask you this. Have you ever seen yourself on TV or on video? Yes. So I guess you know then that the rumor about the camera adding 10 pounds isn't true. It adds at least 20. And a couple of unsightly fins. It can be weird seeing yourself on video. Were you surprised by the way you looked? Yes. Actually, I think many people are surprised by the way they look on tape. It's strange to see yourself the way that other people see you. Especially if only after viewing the tape do you realize that you had a huge booger hanging out of your nose the entire time you were being filmed. But no, seriously, that's the difference between the way you think you look and how other people see you, isn't it? Part of me wants to say God damn it" because of that 20 pound comment, but you know, he's not entirely wrong. Look at that little smirk he's got going. Again, so proud of him. That seems like a decent place to call it for now, though. Uh, let me just check to make sure. Did you poo? Was that what I heard? Yes. Yes, it was. Alright. Let's just go ahead and take care of that. Let's go check on the bugs again. Alright, they seem to be doing okay for now. Oh, yeah, he's definitely eating. Okay, that's what that sound is. Bartleby. Bartleby. Good night for now. Goodbye. Goodbye. Really? Nothing? Goodbye. Goodbye. <sighs> Good night. Really? Wow. Nothing. Bartleby. Oh, 
Well, they're both smiling, so I'm doing right by now. Or for now. So with that, uh, let me just turn up the heat a little bit. Let's bring it to, like, right there. Okay. Goodbye. Here it comes. Oh. That's what I had to do. Goodbye. I will be on my way now. Good night. But I'm not tired. Good, sir. You don't have to be tired. I'm just going to turn the light down and let you get some rest. There. I'm leaving. You might just be in the middle of something, so... Yeah. Just, I'm, I'm so stoked that they're developing legs, I'm actually doing right! Ah! Anyway, Leonard, take us out for today, if you would. Would you like to save and end the session? I would, thank you. You know, actually, now that I think about it, Leonard might be more the custodian of the laboratory, so he might just live on the grounds and take care of things when I'm not there. So, yeah. That's an interesting thought, but I do also like the image of him in kind of like a Mr. Rogers-esque sweater, sitting on a bench, just kind of watching the birds pass by overhead as he just waits for us to come in for the day. Yeah. Anyway, kind of rambled there at the end, but I'll see you guys whenever we come back next. All right? It'll definitely be tomorrow at the very latest. See you then.